hello everyone welcome back to my channel this is becky setre i hope you're all doing well so today i'm starting a new addition to my videos or my channel as you know i'm a nurse and i do nursing videos i'm not a journalist but anyway anytime i'm on the hospital bus going to work i usually read metro news and so i have picked a couple of news articles i want to share with you and if you are wanting to come to uk or you're already here you don't get the time to listen to news a lot so and these are not news that come on the tv so these are quite um, exciting anyway so we are going to be delving into um, the news article so the first one on my list is the fact that in this year april or this month april 2022 from the 6th of april a new divorce law has been introduced in the uk so previously um to divorce your your husband or your wife you have to make sure that you have a reason and one of them would be adultery unreasonable behavior or you have separated for two years with consent or you have separated for five years then you can apply or you can apply on the basis of desertion which means the person has left you and you have no contact with the person but now the new law which is called the no fault or no blame divorce means that couple can apply for divorce with without blaming each other so they can apply on the basis that their marriage has broken down so it makes it a bit easy but it's it's not a straightforward process if you want to go through something like that it can be difficult it's a difficult decision however there are solicitors out there um, who can help you with such situation i'm not saying you should divorce but i'm just saying anyway we will go to the next topic hello so the next article is about a head of a law firm um, he's 48 years old uh, lawyer married in the uk who was charged for forty-five thousand pounds because he ogled a candidate um the reason being that he a lady was invited for an interview for his law firm 22 year old candidate and when he she came in and sat down this lawyer said i like what i see i only employ beautiful women and asked the lady if she had a boyfriend and the candidate um, who applied for a paralegal um, position was sobbing and so she was actually crying um, after the traumatic interview and she actually reported that she felt really undressed um, by him with his eyes and she felt like a piece of meat he told her she was very beautiful um she and he also said that she has to wear skirts to work he doesn't like women who wear trousers the candidate rejected the job offer and she reported this actually this lawyer has um denied all allegation he says he's happily married um, so it's a lesson to, I would say, to men or women who are employers. You have to watch what you say to your candidate. It's not acceptable. He's a lawyer, so I don't want trouble. But this is just one of the articles I found um, interesting. And also, it's something all of us can learn from. Um, just being careful what you say to women and also women who are bosses maybe what you might say to a man i remember when i was back home these things happen but you know we come from different cultures actually regardless of where you are these things are unacceptable anyway so we shall go to the next article hi so we are now on the third article so according to google searches and some data analysis um it has been revealed that british people watch more pornography than anywhere else in the world so they they found out that there are about 575,000 searches for x-rated websites um which are made in the uk every day so the uk has been found to be the most sex obsessed 
country in the world with an average of 16 million searches for porn each year and they're closely followed by Canadians, Filipinos and then followed by Germans, Australians, French, Italy, Mexico, Brazil and Holland. So that's quite an interesting one. Anyway, we will go to the final article. So let's go to the final article and this article is about the effect of the pandemic on our children. So it is reported according to a warning by Ofsted UK, pandemic babies are struggling to understand facial expressions. Um, as you can understand, children who were born at the beginning of the pandemic, so those who are about two years old currently, they've grown around adults who have been wearing face masks and usually children are sent for playgroups and all that and these children have lost out of all that so that has actually impacted negatively on their language and communication skills um, so they have grown as you know seeing adults in face masks so they are unable to see various lips or mouth shapes or movements and so some of them have actually struggled to respond to facial expression, which is quite sad. But oh well, let's see how we go. I'm sure they would catch up at some point. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed my session or this uh, new addition to my video. I'll keep doing my nesting videos, but this is just by the way. Take care. Have a lovely day. Bye bye.